Hey everybody, what's going on? Martin here. Okay, so this is a little different kind of video uh, that you're used to seeing here on our channel. Living and traveling in your RV, there's always something going on when you're on the road. And things can happen out of nowhere and you're in the middle of nowhere. Well, I had a small accident and, I, and it needed immediate attention. I'm going to cover how I dealt with that. Details coming up on RV Street. Okay, so let's get right to it. About a month ago, I was reaching inside the bay, one of the bays in the motorhome, to get my air compressor out. And this was in one of my big storage bays. And as I was pulling the air compressor out, there was a top metal edge that was razor sharp and my hand hit up above the top of that piece of metal and it sliced the backside of my thumb wide open. And it was bleeding like crazy. I did not want to go to the doctor the following day or go to an emergency clinic immediately and rack up a two, three, four hundred dollar bill. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. With my prior combat field experience in the military, I decided to tap into my free RV healthcare package with the tools that I had on board and took care of this myself. Let's take a look. And oh, by the way, this might be a little graphic for some. So Martin cut himself this morning. It's now about 10 o'clock at night. The thing is still bleeding like crazy. We've gone through several bandages. I keep telling him he needs to go to the hospital to get stitches. He said, nope, he's going to do it himself. This is Martin stitching his own freaking hand up. And this is nuts. I want you to push right underneath here like this. Okay, so I am currently going to push the Push up together. right right underneath there, right Okey there. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, you missed it. Ah, oh, gross. Okay, put your finger up here and hold that hold up here. So I can pull that, put it right on the top so I can pull that needle out some. Okay. Now I'm going to come under here. Put your finger back underneath here. Jeez, this is insane. Okay, hold on. Let me squeeze it together. Oh my god, I'm going to puke. Okay, so I, all I need to do is make one loop right here. So I'm going to okay. bring this around right here. I'm going to bring a loop right there. You don't think you need two in here? No. Right there. I just need to close this off right here. Okay, so... I want you to cut, so. Tell me, make a knot? Yeah. Hey everybody, so I thought I'd give you an update here. It's been a week since I have cut my thumb uh, pulling that uh, air compressor out of the bay and I have been treating it uh, twice a day uh, what I've been doing is I have been washing it with this uh, Provodone iodine solution I got this at CVS it's that orange looking iodine stuff and I had just been pouring it right onto the cut 
And then once that dried, I applied some of this triple action antibiotic ointment. It actually looks like this in the box. You can get this at Walmart. Then after that was applied, I would take and use two butterfly uh, bandages. Joni would help me put these on. Then after those were on, in order to keep those butterflies on, we would cover the whole area with a big knee bandage and just wrap that thing all around there. Then we would take some gauze and wrap my thumb around and then around my hand and back through around my thumb, cut it, and then tape it with some regular white medical tape. And then after I did all of that, I would put on this black glove and keep everything nice and tight and clean. So I've been doing this for a week and it's been healing pretty good, but now it's time to take it to the next level. Okay, so I just got through taking a shower and that's another reason why I leave this black rubber disposable glove on. It allows me to take a shower and not get that wound all wet and it starts to pull apart and all that. Um, let's go ahead and pull this off. And you can see it's really healing up quite well. But as I move during the day and these bandages stretch out and it pulls and I move my thumb and whatever, this cut starts to open up. Uh, and so I've continued to put fresh butterflies on there to keep it closed. But now I'm like, I need to do the next step. I need to put on this liquid bandaid. Okay, so we have put on several layers and even though i try to push it close and have it dry close um, it's it's not going to stay totally closed like that uh, Joni just, just she suggested maybe you ought to just put some super glue on there like others have and i thought well let's see what this does because i just need to keep it I don't know, that might be a good idea. Or maybe go across the whole thing, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a try. There you go, good. good. Oh good, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue my finger to my finger. <laughs> <laughs> don't try this at home. Actually, this is what this, this, is what this video is all about. <laughs> Free RV health care, no deductible. Sometimes you just got to take your health care into your own hands, right? Okay, well, we've put uh, several layers of the liquid bandage on there. And then we coated it twice with super glue. And look at that. That looks fantastic. Well, it's been two weeks uh, since I cut my hand, pulling it out of the uh, storage bay. And you can see my thumb side by side now. Uh, it's really coming along quite well. But for the last couple of days now, I've been wanting to get all that gauze and stuff off of there and let it breathe and start to heal. And I ended up buying these um, advanced healing clear um, ad adhesive bandages. And these things, um, boy, I, I, <laughs> I wish I'd have bought these earlier, but they really stick well a whole lot better than a regular Band-Aid does. Uh, and it also, um, it are, they're waterproof. So uh, the last couple of days I've been wearing those and this is really closed up by allowing it to breathe some. So in case you're wondering, yes, I used a needle and thread from my small portable sewing kit. And yes, I did sterilize the needle and thread as best as I could. But overall, it all worked out fine. So this is how it actually looks a three and a half weeks after that initial cut. So how about this? 
Does this video qualify for a like? If you want to see more gory stuff like this or other cool RV videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click the little bell off to the right and that way you'll be notified the next time a video is uploaded. So that's it for now. Until next time, this is RV Street. Stick around.